Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic is animals. Now some animals are very similar to each other like people and monkeys. We both kind of have arms and fingers and we can breathe oxygen but some animals are very different like people and fish. Fish can swim in the water, they can breathe under the water we cannot breathe in the water. If we go in the water, then we will die, right? So, under the sea, under the oceans, and in the water, how fish live? How do they live? In seawater, in the oceans, we cannot breathe underwater. If we go under the water, we cannot breathe, right? And we cannot walk easily, right? In, under the water, we cannot do it. There is little oxygen or sanzo under the water, right? We need oxygen over here. There is much more resistance that makes it difficult for us to move. So in the water, there is more resistance. Resistance means it's blocking us. So we want to move, but there's too much resistance, right? So when there is a lot of resistance, we cannot move. But when there's little bit resistance, then we can move very fast, right? So in the water, there's a lot of resistance. We can't move. There is buoyancy that makes us float on the water. So this is when we're on the water, we're floating on top of the water. So buoyancy is can it float on the water, right? So let's say uh, a ball, a soccer ball. Does the soccer ball have buoyancy? Will it float? Yes, it will float on the water, so a soccer ball has buoyancy. What about a bowling ball, right? We have a bowling ball, right? Does a bowling ball have buoyancy? No, it will sink to the bottom. So a bowling ball has no buoyancy, soccer ball is, has buoyancy. But animals that live there, like fish and you know sharks, can breathe and move underwater freely. So this is the main idea here. This one, people, we cannot breathe underwater, we cannot move underwater, we cannot go freely underwater. But, Hajiman, animals like fish and sharks, they can move underwater very easily and they can breathe underwater. They are different from land animals in body function and appearance. So the body's job and the body, how it looks, is different. The fish looks different from the bear. The fish swims, right? The bear runs. So they're different in that way. Fish use gills to breathe. Gills is over here, right? So they breathe like this, not lungs like humans do. So you and me, we are humans. Right? We have lungs here and we breathe like this, right inside, but fish, they have gills like this. They have a streamlined body shape that help them move forward easily in water. So streamlined body shape, the body shape, the moyang of their body is very streamlined, is very straight like this, right? So they can move very easily. That's their shape. Um, other animals underwater, like whales, crabs, or clams, also have their own body function and appearance. Appearance is how they look. A choge, a, cra a clam, and a koke, they look different, right? And their function, their jobs are the same. They eat differently. The crabs, they catch things, and clams, they just sort of fill, uh, catch things like this, right? From their body. So, first one, we have three questions here. A, in seawater, uh, there is much more blank that makes it difficult for us to move. Difficult for us to move. 움직일 때 어렵다, right? We can't move like this because something is pushing us. And what is pushing us? The water is pushing us, right? So we want to move, but it's so slow 
because something is sl slowing us down and we say that is resistance. So if we are riding our bicycle, right, we're going this way and the wind is going this way, that is a lot of resistance. You want to go but the wind is coming, so much resistance, right? But if you're riding your bike and the wind is coming here, then it's very little resistance. You're going shoom, going very fast, right? B, there is blank that makes us float on water. So on the water, this is the water, right? Float means like this, it stays on the water. Not like this, this is sinking. Floating is like this. So if and something has this, it can float. Pung bung tua in the water, right? And we say that is buoyancy. A soccer ball has buoyancy. It will float, right? A bowling ball does not have buoyancy. It will, it will sink, right? So buoyancy means can you float or not float? C. Fish use gills to breathe, not like blank uh, humans do, right? Not blank like humans do. So, again, this is how we breathe. Breathing is how we get oxygen. And fish, they use something called gills, right? Chinuromi. Uh, and not blank like humans do. Humans, we don't have this. We have something called lungs. Lungs, we have two. We have one lung here and one more lung here. And when we breathe, it gets big and then it goes out. That's how we breathe or sum shao, right? All right, we have three key practice grammar questions here. First one, there blank little oxygen underwater. So underwater, 물 속에 oxygen 산소. 산소가 많을까요, 작을까요, right? There's a little bit, right? Oxygen is the main subject here. It's the 주인공 of the sentence. So we have to see, is this many or 한 개? Oxygen is something that we call a non-count noun. 셀 수가 없는 명, 명사, right? So that means there's only one, 딱 하나, one oxygen. So when there's one, we use is. So for example, for whales, 많은 고래들, we say are, right? But 한 고래, one whale is. Oxygen is, because oxygen is only one, all right? B, they are different. They is, you know, sea animals, 물에 사는 동물들, they are different from land animals, blank, body function, and appearance. Appearance is how they look and body function is their job, right? How do they eat and how do they sleep, right? So that they're saying that they're different, we want to use in. So for example, uh, lemons are different from oranges in color and taste. We can say uh, Avengers is different from Frozen in characters and songs, right? So when we want to say they are different, we say they are different in size. Your mother and father, they are different, right? When we are using this word different, 다르다, different in is always together, all right? So uh, your mother and father, they are different in their face, they are different in their um, how they uh, sleep and what they wear, right? They're different in their clothes. And C, they have a streamlined body shape that help them move forward blank in water. So their body shape, 몸 모양 of the fish, is not like a triangle, 삼각형, no. It's more like a very straight, like this. It is a very streamlined. Why? So they can move more easily in the water. 물 속에서 더 쉽게 움직이게, right? Like this. So the main verb here is to move. When they move, right? 어떻게 움직일까, right? So we need an adverb because we're saying how they move. 쉽게 
빠르게, 느리게, 높게, 낮게. Right? These are all adverbs. 동사를 꾸미는 어, 단어. Right? So we have to use the word easily. So when we have a verb, move, right? 움직이다. Then we have to put an adverb. Uh, quickly, um, I don't know, slowly, happily, right? So when we put the ly, it usually, it, it always, usually always goes with uh, the verb move, all right? So uh, to review, is is because oxygen is, there's only one oxygen, and in is because when we say different, we usually put it together. So they, your friend and your mother, they are different in how they look, they are different in their clothes. And this one easily, this is an adverb, 동사를 꾸미는 단어, and the verb here is move. They move easily, or they eat easily, they walk easily, or they swim easily. All right? So next time you go to the ocean and you see ocean animals or sea animals, see, try to see what is different and try to see what is the same with you and me. All right? So thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.